Hey everybody, uh, this is a tutorial of Rainfall. I apologize it's taken me so long to do this video, but um, I finally figured out how to put my tripod on top of my piano. Um, so now I can do this uh, tutorial for you. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, this is in the key of B minor or D major, which uh, have the same notes in them. Or, right? So, and it starts with, it's got pretty simple chords in it, and I'll just kind of call them out as we go along. Um, and it, ha it starts with this uh, B minor seven chord in the right hand. Right, and then the the left hand pretty much does the same thing throughout the entire song. It has a very simple rhythm, right? So it's kind of like boom, chuck, boom, chuck. Goes down to a G chord here, down to an E minor chord, and then I'll show you how this all kind of comes together. So, but there's a few basic chords, right? The B minor chord in the left hand, G chord in the left hand, E minor chord in the left hand, and then it comes back down to this B minor and occasionally goes to this D, and then it has um, one wacky chord that I'll get to when we get there. So let me just start and play it slowly, and you can kind of see how I play it. So that's kind of the same thing two times. And then it breaks from that pattern to go to this E minor seven chord in the right hand with the E minor in the left hand. That's an A chord in the left hand here. Back to the E minor seven. chord and then this chord kind of breaks the, the normal notes in the key and goes to an F sharp major chord which is in the second inversion here and when it goes down the octave it does the same thing so let's try that now And this part here in the right hand is maybe the only kind of challenging part so far. I kind of cross my middle finger over to this F sharp because you have to get to that part of it. Back to that A major chord here and then back to E minor. So that's the main theme. Rewind this and get those in your fingers and you have the first two parts of the song. And then it goes to this G chord here. And the right hand stays on a D major chord. To a B minor chord here, but I just can do it one five octave. I get fancy with it, and instead of one five octave, I go one five ten. If you want to try that, that's kind of an advanced move. You are more than welcome to just go with a normal G major chord if it's too hard for you to reach like this. So. part 
gets kind of wacky up here. It might not be in my fingers still. Sorry. <laughs> I told you it wasn't in my fingers. So that basic melody, so this, this left hand does the same thing, right? B minor, A, and this melody here is the one that I had to kind of remember. And let's just break it down. However you have to do your fingering to do it, um, I can't quite remember how I do it, let's see. Kind of makes sense to me. Right, that's not right. And I kind of do it different every time. But yeah, so just figure this is probably the hardest part of the song if there was one. song ends with the same G chord here and instead of this D chord here you go to a G chord in the first inversion D chord That's the whole song. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, and hopefully that uh, brings you a couple of hours of time at the piano trying to figure out the puzzle. Um, that was my whole uh, childhood and teenage years growing up was just sitting down with no music in front of me and they didn't have videos like this. And I had to sit down and figure out how they did that really, really cool song that I loved. So hopefully this is helpful for you and makes it a little bit easier on you. Um, Tune in uh, to the next tutorial. I'll be doing Manor and Rainfall. Uh, this is Rainfall, sorry. Manor and Walton E and Childhood at the very least. And hopefully um, that uh, is really helpful for you guys to learn the songs. We'll see you next time.